Hello everyone and welcome to our next lesson on acceleration. This is the follow-on from average speed and average velocity. Very short lesson today, okay? The uh, lesson or the calculations and questions will be in the next video. All right, this is just the theory and uh, information video on acceleration. Okay, so let's begin. If the velocity of a moving object changes, i.e., if the magnitude increases or decreases, if the direction changes, we say the object accelerates. All right? Acceleration is calculated by the change in velocity divided by the time elapsed or the change in time. So in other words, if velocity increases, right? So for example, if you're traveling at 60 kilometers per hour and you now travel at 90 kilometers per hour, we know that the car accelerated due to the final velocity being greater than the initial velocity. Acceleration is a vector quantity and the direction of the acceleration has to be indicated, all right? And the symbol is A, little a. We'll write acceleration, all right? Uh, not as meters per second, all right? But this is, uh, SI unit is meters per second squared. Okay, perfect. Now, there is two types of acceleration, positive and negative. All right. So generally, if acceleration or generally acceleration refers to an increase in velocity and deceleration to a decrease in velocity. But deceleration is not really a scientific word and it is not favored in the language of science. OK, however, it is used to explain the concept of acceleration in the opposite direction. All right. So something can accelerate uh, negatively. It can accelerate not as fast as another object, uh, whereas the acceleration can be a little slower. Okay, so if an object will move more slowly, decelerate, if a constant force acts on it in an opposite direction. Or an object will move forward more quickly, accelerate, if a constant force acts in the same direction as its motion. Okay, so for example, decelerate can be uh, applied to the concept or the theory of braking, a car braking. Okay, the uh, velocity or the speed of the car slows down and um, so the car decelerates because of constant force is being applied in the opposite direction to slow the car down. So it decelerates or it accelerates in the opposite direction, all right, as opposed to when you step step down on the gas, okay? The object, or your car is the object, moves forward more quickly. It accelerates, it increases speed because a constant force acts in the same direction as its motion. Now, whether acceleration is positive or negative depends on the direction of the acceleration, right? Which is similar to the direction of the net force on the object. We will be discussing force more intently in grade 11 when we do Newton's laws. All right, we will um, be discussing that. All right, in Newton's laws and um, the formula in grade 11, uh, force is equal to the mass of the object times the acceleration of the object. Okay, and we will be discussing this more intently in the videos for grade uh, 11. All right, those are to follow soon. All right. The positive direction of the frame of reference is chosen beforehand. Example, right is positive, okay? So if we have a direction here, our object is going in this direction, we know that acceleration uh, is going to be positive, right? If an object is going in this direction or accelerating, but there is a force going in that direction, we know that it is going to be negative. It's going to be decelerating. Okay, so that is all the theory for grade 10 that you need to know for acceleration for grade 10. Uh, stay tuned for the next video on examples and uh, test questions on acceleration.